Hey everybody and welcome to another Learning Statistics with Jamovi tutorial video. In this video we are going to continue a way to change and transform your data within the program. So, uh, I mean, I don't have the normal splash screen up because I have the data still open, ready to record. So, uh, to get us started, we are using the most recent version of Jamovi 2.2.5, good old V there. And if we go over to the data, you can see that this is the data that we have been working with in the last few episodes. We created it in our data entry video, and we, in the last video, we created Cat's Best Reverse Coded, which is the reverse coding numbers of the Cat's Best. And now, what we're going to do in this episode is we are going to create a computed or a computed variable. So we are going to create an average dog love variable, which is going to go here. And we are going to use some of the values that we have already created. Okay. And then uh, in a future video, we are probably going to use our eat breakfast and the average scale that we're going to create from these variables, dog's best, cat's best, and dog's level, though we are probably going to use the reverse coded cat's best. And um, we're probably going to do maybe like a t-test on it or something. I don't know. We'll see. But in this in this way, we are going to use our current data set, our 10 characters. Again, if um, you are working on your own side by side with this set of data uh, and perhaps you forgot to change it, go ahead and pause the video here and uh, enter in this uh, set of data. And then you can play the video and keep going. All right, so the next thing that we are going to do to work with the data in this data set is we are going to create an average of our um, dog love scale. Um, and I know here that we have cat's best, but we reverse coded it because we are using the assumption in this fake set of data that cat best and dog best uh, values are the opposite, are conversely related. Okay, so that's why we reverse coded it. And now the value that we get in our computed variable is going to be. Uh, appropriate an appropriate average okay so let's double click on that and here it's going to ask us do we want a new data variable where we would enter in data directly a new computed variable yep that's what we're going to do or a transform variable well we did transformation in the last episode and so we are going to use a new computed variable okay and the new computed variable is not going to be called f it's going to be called um dogs dog pref average or something like that and you can call it whatever you want um and we can put in the description here so preference uh average have a ridge preference for dogs as pets. Sure, why not? And here is where we put in the formula. So this, since this is a computed variable, gets a little um, gray dot next to it, as you can see here, a little gray dot there. Um, and we can make this a little bit bigger so we can see the gray dot. There it is. Oh, look at that gray dot. Okay, so here we're going to put in our function. Okay, now there are several functions that you can do. Um, I have another video going through um, some of these, but we can do the absolute value. And here down here, they have the way that the uh, value gets put into the parentheses because it is a formula and the function for the formula itself. So uh, and then a brief description of what that function does. So we have math function. So absolute value exponent um, natural log um, log base 10 and the square root. So those are general functions. That, so uh, for uh, a reaction time uh, study that I did, I converted all times to log base 10. And so that was an easy transformation there to do. Um, we also have statistical. So you can do the short convenient shorthand for the absolute value of the interquartile range, which is nice. Um, we have the shorthand for the absolute value of the Z score for the variable. So it creates a Z score and then it gives you the absolute value return on that box Cox transformation. So you put the variable and the lambda in interquartile range, the maximum value, the max ABS IQR. So you get the maximum value or the absolute value of the interquartile range, the maximum absolute Z value, the mean, which is what we're going to use in just a second, the min, which is the smallest value of the numbers, although it does not, they do not have min um, ABS IQR or ABS Z. So just uh, remember that. We can get the rank of a variable and it'll, so it'll put it in a rank. It'll be a new variable with a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 sort of ranking for that. Um, we can round our variables. So if we don't, if we have a lot of precise variables to like five decimal places, we can round those to um, integer if we wanted to. We have um, a, a way to um, return a normal, normalized value set of numbers. So finding the Z scores for those. Standard deviation, sum. So, I mean, those are pretty self-explanatory. We can find our Vmax, the largest value of a variable, the Vmean, the Vmed, the Vmin. Oh, this is the Vmedian, by the way. Um, Vmin and Vmode. We can also return the number of cases. So it creates a variable with the number of cases. Standard error, standard deviation, standard sum, the variance, the V variance, and then finding Z scores. Well, hooray! We have our logic functions if, which has to be if else, if miss. 
So if something contains a missing value, use that value otherwise else, and then not. It inverts the value. We also have some text functions, which you can use. So contain, split, text, and value. Reference, hlookup, and match. And then some miscellaneous things like filter. Uh, so only choosing the variables that meet a certain expression. Um, changing something to an integer, offset, and row. Sample and V rows. Sample is a little bit uh, interesting, but this would be a uh, returning you a sample, um, which is pretty cool, I would say. Uh, and then you can do some simulations. So that's all the functions that are in Jamovi, Jamovi now. Um, and as I said, we are going to be doing mean. So let's look at mean here. So mean says, find me the mean of number one, number two, dot, dot, dot. So however many numbers you have, ignore any missing values. And um, the minimum value that is valid is equal to zero. OK, so what we're going to do is we are going to double click on that and then it's going to insert it up here. Right. So now we need to just fill in those uh, fill in those values. So one of the things that you can do is put numbers in there. So a set of numbers, that's fine. You can do that. But of course, we already have the existing variables here. And so all we have to do is double click them into and then to just separate them by uh, commas. And you can see here that dog's best does not have any back ticks. This is the back tick. OK, um, it is the uh, base function of the key on your keyboard next to number one, numeral one, back tick is there, and then sh the shift is the tilde, as you might be familiar with it. It's like an ac accent, but in uh, coding, I've heard it referred to as back tick. And the reason why it's got back tick here is because this is a name of the variable, so it's nominal, as opposed to the variable itself. So it gets put in as this um, sort of quoted variable character, and part of it has to do with the fact that there's a hyphen in there and all in spaces and all that kind of stuff. So um, don't be alarmed if that's the case here. And then we're going to put in dog love. OK, and don't worry about any spaces between characters and things like that it doesn't really matter. Um, and that's what our average variable is going to, to be. I off click there and here we go. We have our averages. We have a, th a one, three and five, which brings back an average of three. And you can see here there they all are. I can imagine eating breakfast has nothing to do with dog love, but you know what? It's fine. And that's how you trans uh, compute, excuse me, a compute a variable in Jamovi using one of the formula functions. We can close this and now we are all done. If you have any comments or questions and feedback, please leave them down below. Thank you for watching this one and until the next one, cheers.